All right, so we are west of Albuquerque, and this is the Rio Grande Valley with Sandia Peak to the east, and that is a 10,700 foot tall mountain. And it's January 24th, it's a great winter hike. Yeah, it's a great winter hike. It's about 50 degrees. 50 degrees, a little bit of partly cloudiness, some sunshine. And this is on the Petroglyphs National Monument. Um, this is the Volcanoes Trail. So what we're looking at here is uh, the remnants of a volcano, remnants of a volcano. And then they continue north. A rift opened here 130,000 years ago, and there was a wall of flame up out of that rift. And then after the rift began to close up, these little cinder cones popped up. So there's a whole series of volcanoes on a north to south line, west of Albuquerque. That's the valley. And the city, which has its own form of sprawl. Okay, so now we're looking north, and that mountain is called Vulcan. That little... Uh, small peak there and that's all part of this trail network that heads north to south and more of the Rio Grande Valley and more of Ruth right here. And this little peak has a name. The other one was Jaw. Do you remember what this one was called? And south one's Jaw. And I've forgotten what the name of this one is. It's uh, two letters. That was Jaw, I think. That was the southern one. This is the middle black. one. Black cone or something. Yeah, and then off to the north you have the mountains that are north of Santa Fe. So that's about, oh, 50 miles. So we're on the southernmost, or excuse me, the northernmost cinder cone. These are really just little volcanic hills, nothing major. And there's Bernalillo, which is just northwest of Albuquerque. It's pretty much part of the Albuquerque metro area. And the mountains to the east. And we have come upon a cave. Anything special? Yeah, if you got caught out here in a storm, you could probably shelter in here. It's a good size. Looks like there's water drips on the floor, so there's some leak. The snowfall. Right, still working its way through the cracks and crevices. Oh, there's a drip right there. Mossy green. And some lichen out here. Pretty neat. What's great about this hike is you can see for long distances, so you can see how far you've come. Right. You're not in the middle of a forest and all these trees that block your view. So, kind of fun to look back at the trail. And yeah, it is. And that's Vulcan. It's probably the most interesting shaped rise. And we came down that, the shoulder there, and across this little plain area here, and up to this northernmost volcano. We did that, what, half an hour? 20 minutes? It's probably a mile. <laughs> 